there is there there is a minor group of very loud individuals who are rioting in the streets with glee that the Warhammer community is very upset and they're doing everything in their power to make everyone as upset as they can and saying, oh, the game's dead, the game's dead, oh, it's, it's awful, CA's the devil, they're the worst thing in the universe, everything there is garbage, that's why everybody is, that's why everybody's left and it's all terrible and it, there's no saving it and we'll never buy anything again from them, da, 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 which is, fuck that, like, please, like, get over yourselves. That by not ever saying anything about Arch, it has caused a situation where people think I'm afraid of him. A few moments later. I was shaking when I was considering making this video. <laughs> All of the Warhammers, they have not been very inclusive and they're working very hard to change that. Warhammer being more inclusive is a great idea. Make it so that it's not just a white dude hobby anymore because it shouldn't be. They're trying really hard to introduce people of color. Whenever a cop is out there and they shoot and kill a black person, they're able to get away with it because everyone around them, everyone in power is just white. The full context is, black lives don't matter, but they should. I don't like where this is going. The first time I ever heard black lives matter, I also had a knee jerk reaction. If you're kind of a white guy, you think to yourself, are they saying I'm the bad guy? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? To introduce um, different sexualities and all these different things into the setting. And if you're someone in my community who especially is a minority, whether you're a person of color or a woman or trans or whatever, I don't know. I want you to know that I love you. I love you very, very much. And I care about you. If you find you're a person that's obsessed with hatred, I've been there. But if you don't it support somebody, has to stop. get the hell out. Blue sniffing we don't want your business. Right we don't want your support. Now. Leave. I've been that guy. Who doesn't deserve any support. I just want to say that deserve, you suck. Like, you're a piece I can't of shit. tell success. if you just don't have a soul. When I was younger, I did terrible things. I hurt people. Or maybe you're such a small, <laughs> it's, it's tiny piece of garbage, garbage, dipshit, can change the world. You could be remembered by someone as the man who saved them and never even know it. Oh my god, bro. Oh, man. You know, they've arrested the cops who murdered George Ford. What the fuck is this piece of shit? I am not a fan of the price for this DLC. This DLC is 25 US dollars. I mean, tw $25 is a lot of money. That is a ton of money. But, uh, so this is gonna be the first of a series of videos where I'm going to talk about my kind of thoughts and predictions for the upcoming DLCs and free LCs. Announcement trailer for Shadows yeah. of Change. So let's go ahead and jump right in and see what Grave Assembly has to show off for us. Uh, personally, I will say I am most excited for Mother Ostankia. I am then second most excited for Yuan Bo, and I am third most excited for the Changeling. I'm just, I'm just having too much fun with Cold War Warhammer 3. Um, like, uh, you know, Shadows of Change is getting a lot of criticisms, and but uh, like I'm having a lot of fun with the early access of it. I'm having more fun with that than I am with any other game. And I I am a shameless, shameless in, enjoyer of it, which is not a problem. If you're watching this, you may not give the slightest of shits what I think, and that's totally fine. I wouldn't give the crap what I think. Uh, <laughs> my opinion is no more valid than anybody else's. You're, you're a fucking idiot. For those of you who are getting way too horny off of all of this chaos and mayhem, uh, stop it. It's gross and weird. <laughs> like try like i don't know i i don't appreciate people trying to like add to everyone else's anxieties that they already have or like gleefully being like i told you guys i i told you this was gonna happen it's like shut up nobody cares like just just shut up dude <laughs> it's cringe it's cringe when you do that it's really cringe what? 
that is the chaos doors chaos doors chaos doors chaos doors chaos doors chaos doors oh my god it's finally here oh my fucking god hello everyone Lord Master of Sotek here, and I have de-hobofied myself, as you can see, so I, that I can come on here and talk about the review, my review, for Shadows of Change. The thing and shit um, is that I really feel that they dropped the ball on the generic characters. Um, like, if, if these DLCs are going to be this big, which I'm totally fine with, um, then they're ne they need to fill up all the generic character slots. That was a huge oversight. There was a fucking colossal oversight, in my opinion. Uh, that's an embarrassing level of oversight. That is the biggest glaring failure of Shadows of Change. There are not enough generic characters. Do I think that is a worthwhile experience? Yes. Is it worth $25? I don't know. <laughs> that's up to you. Duh, yeah, it's rewind time. I am not a fan of the price for this DLC. This DLC is 25 US dollars. I mean, $25 is a lot of money. That is a ton of money. A few moments later. Um, then I, I would say it's a perfect DLC. Um, price notwithstanding. So uh, hopefully that helps. Um, I apologize if you were hoping for something a little more concrete when it comes to price. But I just, the more I've sat and thought about it, the more I've realized that I'm just not... <laughs> I'm just not really in a comfortable position to do that. Jesus! Just grow some fucking balls! Um, I have no problem coming out against the DLC as far as how sudden the price change was. I think they dunked that up really bad, and literally all they had to do was, like, start preparing people maybe, like, a couple weeks in advance. And they, they could have built up to it instead of just coming out of, like, fucking left field and being like, Look, it's like... 50% more expensive. That being said, I, I do think this is like one of the best pieces of content they've ever made. This is also like a really good piece of content. Yeah, it's rewind time. I am not a fan of the price for this DLC. This DLC is 25 US dollars. I mean, $25 is a lot of money. That is a ton of money. A few moments later. As far as a message to the community goes, this is really solid. Um, I think this is a very well put together statement. I think they did a very good job of acknowledging their issues. As far as a message to the community goes, this is really solid. This is really solid. I think they did a very good job I think this is good. Good job. Really solid. Um, I think this is a very well put together statement. I think they did a very good job of acknowledging their issues and didn't fall into any of the kind of classic blunders of like blaming the community for what happened. Um, I think this is good. I think this is a very, very good statement. What the fuck? No! I, I realize that I could be an outlier on this um, because Bruh. I am a complete and massive slut for anything Warhammer Fantasy related. I acknowledge that. <laughs> I recognize that. Um, that I don't, I don't really care how expensive it is. Yeah, it's rewind time. I am not a fan of the price for this DLC. This DLC is 25 US dollars. I mean, $25 is a lot of money. That is a ton of money. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Uh, this time we're going to be going through the upcoming DLC, The Grip of the Grave for Total War Warhammer. Yeah, two Vampire Count units and three Empire units. Well, personally, I think this DLC is disgustingly good. Um, and it's $7. Um, that is crazy good value. You get $8 DLC for two legendary lords, two new characters, four new units, 16 regiments renowned. I think for the price point, it's perfectly fair. I think this is actually pretty good value. Pain is going to revolve around Tazarkan, the drinker. You get Malice Darkblade leading Hag Grey for the Dark Elves. 
and Deathmaster Snitch leading Clan Eshin for the Skaven. Pre-purchase discount. So, real quick about this. Uh, if you go to this, fanatical.com, uh, I'll post it in the description and I'll post it over uh, Discord and stuff. But if you want to support the channel, you can actually buy it from here. And just a reminder, if you want to support the channel, there's a reference link in the description that you can uh, check out to uh, pick up the DLC and help support the channel. And I'm Lord Master of Sotek here, and today I'd like to share a particular story with you all. See, recently Creative Assembly approached me and asked if I would be interested in doing a video talking about my favorite piece of Total War content. So, real quick, thanks to my good pals over at CA for sponsoring this video. And let's dive into talking about a piece of content that's incredibly important to me. So thanks again to Creative Assembly for sponsoring this video. Hello everyone, Loremaster of Sotek here, and it's finally arrived. The trailer for Total War Warhammer 2, The Silence and the Fury. The Silence and the Fury includes two unique legendary lords, yep, yep, uh, powerful new units and heroes for both the Lizardmen and the Beastmen, including the mighty Jabber Slight and other monsters for the Beastmen, flying snakes, blind monsters, and new schemes for the Lizardmen. You can get a discount. Of course, you can also get a discount on my channel if you uh, use my fanatical link, which I will include in the description. Lord Master of Sotek here with a video that's sponsored by the lovely folks over at Creative Assembly. And they asked me to do something called leveling up your gameplay. This video is essentially part of a series of three found between myself, Zerkovich, and Sirius Trivia. And this particular mini series we will be educating you on various aspects of the Realms of Chaos campaign. Thanks again to Creative Assembly for sponsoring this video, and I'll see you all next time. Finally happening. Chaos Dwarfs are here. You can confirm that Forge of the Chaos Dwarfs will be arriving uh, Warhammer 3 as part of the 3.0 update on, on April 13th. You can pre-order it today, which, by the way, uh, I'm going to show for my second here. If you want to help support the channel, you can also pre-order it probably right now, but if not, then later today, uh, down using my Fanatical link where you'll be able to save more than 10% because I will talk to the guys at Fanatical and they're usually pretty good about it. So don't do, don't get it off Steam. Uh, save yourself some money. I want you to keep those sweet, precious hashed bucks in your wallet. So for you to save some money and help support what I do here, make sure you use the Fanatical link uh, down below uh, because that is a great way to help uh, support the channel. But wait, there's more. Hey, uh, I'm going to show for my second here. If you want to help support the channel, you can also pre-order it uh, down using my fanatical link. Thanks again to Creative Assembly for sponsoring this video. You can get a discount. Of course, you can also get a discount on my channel if you uh, use my fanatical link, which I will include in the description. Thanks again to Creative Assembly for sponsoring this video. This, fanatical.com, uh, I'll post it in the description and I'll post it over uh, Discord and stuff. But if you want to support the channel, you can actually buy it from here. Thanks again to Creative Assembly for sponsoring this video. This, fanatical.com, uh, I'll post it in the description and I'll post it over uh, Discord and stuff. But if you want to support the channel, you can actually buy it from here. Uh, I'm going to show for my second here. You can also pre-order it. Lord Master of Sotek here with a video that's sponsored by the lovely folks over at Creative Assembly. <laughs> I now have that paranoid feeling ever since that fucking The Future of Free Kingdoms came out. Ever since that video, now I get worried. I would only worry about that if Warhammer 3 is still like this in like a, a full year. I give it a full year. If we're still here, a year from now? Okay, yeah. I think that's a legitimate fear. But I, I, until then... I... This this would be something I would have paid, what, 60 quid for? So I know people have paid 60 quid for that. It's like, well... You paid for a beta, in a sense, you know? Mm, I, I don't... I... I understand your frustration. I don't... I don't... Agree with the sentiment, I guess? It's kind it, of a weak narrative, though. <laughs> like, yeah. For that to be like the flag, you know, the it's it's yeah. not a very good foundation stone. Just because CA CA 
Will it be a life of, of fear, of, oh, no, 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 I can't do this, of never once believing in yourself? But then I think about, like, future Total War titles. That's what uh, that's gets That's not our to. problem. It's not our problem. <laughs> that's, it is, no, though. It is, uh, though. Nope, we're, nope, not our problem. And the next thing we know, oh, look. It's dead. It's like... Yeah, but to be fair, that's the only time that's ever happened. But if it happens once, it can happen again. Lightning does strike twice. Well, yeah, but, like, it, it, you're playing a dangerous game of what-ifs. <laughs> you are fucking lucky I'm not fucking taking your fucking knees out down this fucking car park, so I'm fucking telling you now, because that's a fucking mood I'm in. Believe me, now I'm telling you, see what happens in this car, see if I hear anybody fucking talking about it, mate. Yeah. I will take your fucking head off. Do you fucking hear yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yes. This is the fucking last of it, son. Yeah, I you that. fucking do what you do. Yeah. You make up what you need to fucking make up. <laughs> I'll never forget being at a bar in Horsham uh, for the Vampire Coast release. Um, I was over there. Bullock. Why am I not surprised, you piece of shit?